Okay, welcome back. So now what we are going to do is we are going to begin our actual learning. We're going to begin with our RUAE, okay, our close reading studies. RUAE, close reading, they mean the same thing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you a basic overview of what RUAE is. I know I mentioned it before, but I'm just going to mention it again what our UAE is, and also I'm going to give you an overview of the uh, subjects or the sort of techniques or question types uh, that are in our UAE. Okay, so what is our UAE? Our UAE is when you read a text and then you answer questions on that text. Now, at National 5, you only read one text. Okay, this will be a newspaper article. At higher, you read two texts, yeah? Most likely two newspaper articles. So in the RUAE, RUAE exam, you're gonna read one text, likely a newspaper article, and then you're gonna answer questions on it. At National 5, it's just one article, which will be in the exam paper. At higher, it's gonna be two articles. Again, these will be in the exam paper. And then you'll answer questions on that text. Okay, now the thing to note about RUAE is that the questions, okay, the question types are all known. They're all known, okay, we know what they are and we know likely what they're going to be even before you get to the exam. Now, what are the question types when it comes to RUAE? RUA they are as follows, okay? So to begin, we have uh, the question types are divided into some different some different types, yeah, some different kinds. We begin with what we call understanding questions. Understanding questions. Now, understanding questions. Okay. Underneath this title of understanding questions, we have in your own words. We have. Uh, effective introduction, uh, if, uh, context, effective conclusion. These are all essentially understanding questions. What is an understanding question? An understanding question is a question which asks you to show that you can understand that you have processed and you know what the writer means in terms of what he says. Yeah, you understand his meaning or her meaning. That is an understanding question. Now, the other type of question, okay, is called an analysis question. And an analysis question, uh, under, that, under that heading, you have word choice, link question, imagery, sentence structure, and tone. Word choice, link question, uh, imagery, sentence structure, and tone. W-I-S-T, West, that's a good little... Uh, phrase you can remember, W-I-S-T, word choice, imagery, sentence structure, tone. These are all analysis uh, techniques. And these questions ask you to look at a specific part of the text, like a word or like a sentence, and then to analyze, to break down the, te the technical elements, yeah, or to break down on a deeper level what the writer is doing, okay, with the word he's chosen, or uh, with the way that he's, excuse me, with the way that he's laid the sentence out, what is he doing there? And what meaning does that create? That is analysis. Okay, now the very final sort of last type, and this would be uh, essentially for higher, uh, would be the comparison question. And this is where you're asked to compare different part or different, uh, the two texts, yeah, to compare the two articles and to see how the writers either agree on something or disagree on something. Okay, now we're going to go into detail in each of these uh, when you do each of the lessons. Um, but this is just basically an overview. What you just need to know is RUAE is when you read a text and then you answer questions on it. All of the question types are known. We know them beforehand, which means you can prepare and prepare to get 100% if you uh, get if you master all the skills 
We also know that the three most important skills are in your own words, word choice, and the comparison question for hire. For Nat 5, it's just two. It's in your own words and word choice. If you understand how to do these, yeah, these few skills, then it's very unlikely that you will fail yet. It's very, very, very likely that you're going to pass if you know how to do these few skills. So we know all of these things beforehand. Uh, so you should be, um, that should make you feel optimistic. You should feel good about that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get into learning each of them. Okay, so get ready and let's begin. <laughs> 